Throw me to the wolves, and I will return leading the pack. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. He suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but I reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave them if they were not yours. Here is a rule to remember in future, when anything tempts you to feel bitter, not this is misfortune, but to bear this worthily is good fortune. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. Accept whatever comes to you woven in the pattern of your destiny, for what could more aptly fit your needs? To live a good life, we have the potential for it. If we learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future, not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient, for he that is so, wants nothing. Death smiles at us all, but all a man can do is smile back. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought, of the human spirit is colored by such impressions. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. Never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. Very little is needed to make a happy life, it is all within yourself in your way of thinking. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that things are difficult. Begin at once to live, and count each separate day as a separate life. A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. You want to live but do you know how to live? You are scared of dying but tell me. Is the kind of life you lead really any different to being dead? The bravest sight in the world is to see a great man struggling against adversity. Every night before going to sleep, we must ask ourselves, what weakness did I overcome today? What virtue did I acquire? Life is never incomplete if it is an honorable one. At whatever point you leave life, 
If you leave it in the right way, it is whole. The greatest blessings of mankind are within us and within our reach. A wise man is contented with his lot, whatever it may be. Man is affected not by events but by the view he takes of them. Until we have begun to go without them, we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are. We've been using them not because we needed them but because we had them. As is a tale, so his life, not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. If you really want to escape the things that harass you, what you're needing is not to be in a different place but to be a different person. Hang on to your youthful enthusiasms you'll be able to use them better when you're older. It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. From this instant on, vow to stop disappointing yourself. Separate yourself from the mob. Decide to be extraordinary and do what you need to do, now. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. What ought one to say then as each hardship comes? I was practicing for this, I was training for this. Fortify yourself with moderation, for this is an impenetrable fortress. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. The trials you encounter will introduce you to your strengths. Remain steadfast. And one day you will build something that endures, something worthy of your potential. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. The world turns aside to let any man pass who knows where he is going. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations no matter what is going on around you. You may fetter my leg, but Zeus himself cannot get the better of my free will. On the occasion of every accident that befalls you, Remember to turn to yourself and inquire what power you have for turning it to use. Seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. It is the nature of the wise to resist pleasures, but the foolish to be a slave to them. If anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults else he would not have mentioned these alone. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Be discriminating about what images and ideas you permit into your mind. No man is free who is not a master of himself. 
It is impossible to begin to learn that which one thinks one already knows. Don't seek to have events happen as you wish, but wish them to happen as they do happen and all will be well with you. Never depend on the admiration of others. There is no strength in it. Personal merit cannot be derived from an external source. No great thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a figure. If you tell me that you desire a figure I will answer that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. We all sorely complain of the shortness of time, and yet have much more than we know what to do with. Our lives are either spent in doing nothing at all, or in doing nothing to the purpose, or in doing nothing that we ought to do. We are always complaining that our days are few, and acting as though there would be no end of them. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failings, then you will forget your anger. Look well into thyself, there is a source of strength which will always spring up if thou wilt always look. Dear friends, and which quote hooked you the most, write in the comments. Subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the following videos. Thank you for watching.